Okay. I'm not feeling any of this music today. What is up with me? I don't want to listen to that. I just... Okay. Well, that's better. Okay. So, the question of the day. The question and confession and all that merry, merry bullshit that you want to know. And I'm going to talk in an English accent. Just because I feel like it. And now it's going to turn Scottish. I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> Um, let's see. So, the confession of the day. What makes me tick? I don't rightly know what makes me tick. I just tick. Just <laughs> I just kind of function. I don't know what makes me tick. I haven't ripped myself open to figure out why I tick. So, um, hmm. What makes me tick? What makes me me? That is a hard one. I don't know. I'm just Riley. I just do. I just go. It just happens. It's, it's magic. I don't know. I just... I, yeah! I don't know! <laughs> um... I don't feel like I should. I'm so alone. Um, let's see. I think a major factor of the way I am is my family. I am very much a family-oriented person. Family is highly, highly important to me. It is one of the biggest things in my life and I have a very strong knit family unit. We drive each other nuts but we're a very strong knit family unit. And we're, we're just a giant pain in the ass really. <laughs> but my parents, I, I, I think it's a factor of my parents, my upbringing and just the amazing support system I have and the amazing people that I surround myself with. It's what makes me me. It makes me tick. It's, it's what I do. Um, but yeah, I, I think it starts with my parents. So let's start there. I'm very much a daddy's girl. Very, very much a daddy's girl. It's horrible how bad of a daddy's girl I am. Um, I'm missing my father, like, a lot. I'm missing my dad. I want my daddy. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing my Jesus hat. Um, my dad has a matching one, and I'm missing him, so it's like, I miss him. Uh, let's see. Hmm. My upbringing was, I had the best childhood. I had some downs, but I had the best childhood my parents could give me. And they gave me the best childhood a child could ask for. I had an amazing childhood. It, I wouldn't take any of it back. Like, um, my dad and I, I'm my dad's little Robin. My dad's Batman, I'm Robin. We're, we're totally in sync. I am my mom's mini-me. Um, I am the best of both worlds of my parents. I've decided that this is my thesis on, on how I function. I am the best of both worlds of my parents because my mom is very much a social butterfly. She talks to everybody and anybody and their dog. Like seriously, we'll be in the grocery store and she's the creepy lady that's looking at your baby going, oh, she's so cute, she's so pretty. And the, the mom's holding her kid going, lady stop talking to me. <laughs> my dad on the other hand is like anti-social and sarcastic and uh he's all around a funny guy my dad is a marine so he's highly sarcastic just just stating that my father is a marine should answer all your questions on how my father thinks um <laughs> my dad is a quick-witted sharp tongue I don't want to say my dad's a cowboy, but he's, he's a redneck. <laughs> We're all rednecks. Uh, so I get a lot of that from him. So you put these two polar opposite personalities together and you get Riley. Like, you get the craziness that is me. Because um, there's days that I'm very much my mom's child. I am, oh, new friend, new person. Hi, talk, 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 talk. Then there's other days that I'm very much my father's child and it's like, just, just walk away, walk away. Stop talking to me! I don't want to talk to you! <laughs> um, that explains my personality. I'm very much, I am my parents' mini-me. I am the product that they created, I don't know. <laughs> um, 
my brother is just as bad. Like, he is my dad's. He's very much my father's. If you put my brother and my dad in the same room, it's like, yeah. It's ridiculous to watch my brother and my dad together. Um, but then there's days that my brother is very much like my mom. And, like, we both have it. It's terrible. We both are, ooh, new people. Let's talk. Let's be friends. <laughs> but sometimes my father's genes overcome both of us and we're just like, no, I don't want to talk to you. I can trade you ice cubes for a million dollars, but I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> um, let's see. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's get back on topic because this is going to be a really long video and nobody's going to want to watch it. And this is just, this is going to be like a journal diary or something. I don't know. Um, my parents, what can I say about my parents? They are my everything. They are my biggest support. They are my biggest fans. They are my best friends. They are the people that I depend on the most. And they stand behind me no matter how stupid my decisions are or what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. It, they'll look at me with some of my decisions and go, okay, we wouldn't do this, but you have to learn somehow. It's, we can't tell you how to live your life. We want you to learn your lesson. Even if this lesson's gonna really suck, but we'll be here to support you through it. And I've always really appreciated that in my parents because it was just, because you have some of these parents that don't even let their children live. And it's like, dude, he's 22 years old. Just let him go out and like, see the world. My parents were like, hmm, nope, out of the nest. Let's go see the world. <laughs> well, they didn't push me out of the nest. It was, I looked at my mom one day. I was like, I'm ready to be an adult. <laughs> and she's like, okay, let's do this. But it took three tries to actually decide I wanted to be an adult. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see. My parents are absolutely amazing people. I, I, I have a big family. I really do. I have a great spider web of family. Notice that I say spiders because I like spiders. Um, my parents, I, I, I can't say enough nice things and wonderful things about my parents. They are, I love them. I love them dearly. They drive me nuts. I am a typical 22 year old woman. My, I love my parents. They drive me nuts. But <laughs> if I ever need anything, I know they're there. Like another factor of me growing up was I we I grew up in Utah. It was strictly LDS country. It's everybody's LDS. Um, my parent, my dad was raised LDS. My mom was raised Baptist, Lutheran, Christian, isk. I I yeah. Uh, and my parents sat me and my brother down when we were young and kind of well, just because we believe it does not mean you should have to. It, it, that's not how it works in the world because we believe it doesn't mean you should if you do that's great we'll love you either way and anytime I had questions about religion or anything like if I wanted to go explore oh I don't know Judaism or like Hinduism or Catholicism and my battery's gonna die it, my parents would get me the materials to learn about that said religion and take me to synagogues and temples and seminars and whatever it was amazing it was that is one of the most treasured childhood memories I have is my parents telling me well just because we believe in this does not mean you have to and it was the same with the politics in our family it was just because we're whatever does not mean you have to you you, you are your own person we want you to form your own ideals we want you to be you we don't want to brainwash you. We don't want you to just function because the way we function kind of deal. And I will ever forever be grateful to my parents for that. My parents, <laughs> I love my parents. I, I love my daddy and I love my mom. They're crazy. I, I yeah. Uh, let's see. Hmm.